Hey, what's up, everybody? Um, this is your boy back with another video on my uh, electric bike I just built, and this is on a Swin Axum DP, as you can see it right now. So it does have to drop a post, which I really do like. You know, it goes up, and you put it back down. Um. So that's very convenient when you are in tight situations where you need to stand up to pedal uphill. Um, so it's a, it's a damn good bike, a good platform to start on. Um, this is a uh, NB Power. This is a 3000 watt um, hub motor. And I have a, uh, see if right, you can't see it right now, but it's a 52 volt, uh, 20 uh, amp hour battery. And a uh, TFT display, which I really like. Um, I uh, change out the seat, you know, saying for a little bit more comfortable. And it does have the pedal assist, as you can see right there. And everything is pretty much bone stock, except for you know the uh, the seat. And I put the uh, I put the um, the brakes that come with the kit because I'm not going to upgrade to hydraulic brakes. These brakes work just fine right here. Um, these are the stock brakes that's on it. They work just fine. Uh, let me show you what I did back here now. So I modified this so I can take my daughter with me on the uh, on rides and everything. So I have a trailer, a kid, it's a bike trailer. And I had to grind this down right here for this to fit. And then a torque arm, which is one here. And I have one right here. As I, um, this is a stock um, hole that I um, modified this to go in, the, the um, bolt to go in. Um, this is a eight speed cassette. Well, not a cassette, it was a free will. Um, but I, I, I wanted to keep the stock gearing as the stock um, Axum DP gearing with the one by. And uh, so as you can see, there's a torque on this side and there's a torque on another one. And the controller is an 80, 80 amp. It's uh, like a 48 volt to 72 volt controller. Smart controller, 18 more fit, I think. Uh, TX90 connectors. This thing has a alarm lockout. And also got these. I'm gonna upgrade these um, lights soon. Uh, they all right, but they just run dead pretty fast. And um, so right here, I'm gonna show you what I did right here to the brakes. So this this is a what 35 135 millimeter um dropout, and it was a bit too wide. Um, as you can clearly see, is that the brakes? Let me see. It's, the brakes didn't fit on uh, the stock mounting position, as you can see right there. So what I had to do is I welded the bracket that the brakes bolt onto right beside it and as you can see they they work just fine i can't really get a good look a good and they work just fine had to space out the brakes as you can see on the uh, off, off the hub and uh so i spaced those out with some uh, little standard nuts that I had laying around had six of them laying around and everything and then Got that all squared away and it draws pretty good. Um the shock, um the stock shot that comes on this thing, it's alright. I mean it I mean it it gets the job done. I mean I didn't you know what I'm saying I ain't never had a bike with suspension, so I don't know how those much more expensive suspension front shocks are. And believe it or not, with this thing being so heavy, it's more been heavy as it is in the back and this battery and everything mounted. It jumps pretty good. I jump this bike. I go mostly off road with this bike, and and when I jump it, I don't jump too high. But man, it it pretty, it's pretty balanced. I mean, so whoever says that you do you have like less handling in the back, I, I don't know. I don't believe it though. But to me, to to my riding experience, I never had that problem. I jump pretty decent hills. I mean, some little little curves with my kids and everything so they jump and everything on their stuff anyways so and let me tell you this too um 
this bike with this setup right here with this six the 52 volt battery i'm 230 i'm 67 230 this bike easily do 45 easily i mean it just it gets up there real quick it ain't no no slouch it ain't gonna all that slow takeoff and that that whining sound you see you know because this is a uh it's a sine wave controller. It's not a square wave where you hear all that motor noise. This thing is quiet. You don't hear nothing. And boy, let me tell you something. Look at that. I already, already, already went through the tires and I just got the darn bike. What, uh, three weeks ago? And I put all this stuff on it. You know? Like I say, I got these because of the, the, the much power they got. I wanted the um the kit, the brakes that the kit comes with because they have the emergency cutoff brake switch gotta have it i need it you know what i'm saying because my kid gets on this thing too but he don't go with a pedal six five he just goes to like you know one two or three and that's it but other than that i wish i can give you some speed runs i don't have a, a gopro right now to to show you how fast it go but believe me when i say this thing is fast it's, it's a lot faster than i thought it was going to be but for what it, for what it is right now and it's pretty light. I got it hanging up on the. I I have this hanging up on the wall, you know, in the house. You know what I mean? So, and the and the 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 eight speed cassette. It's just real good. I have another one, but it's a little bit smaller. I think this is a forty one. I think this is like a um, eleven, and I think the top one is a forty one, and the one I did order was like a thirty eight or something like that. It was a little bit smaller than this one, but this is the closest i can get to my stock one that came on the bike and it has stickers on the bike i took those off because i wanted to make it look more like the front wheel and i'm going to put a reflect on it um as you can see it's still <laughs> i mean the bike's still brand new but um it's a damn good bike man i like i like the dropper post on it and um it's it's a real light it's a good damn bike to start off on but but yeah this is this is my bike right here man and i'm gonna get my son one and um he wants one real bad he didn't he rode this he wanted the electric scooter and now he he wants the electric bike so i'm gonna let him get this but man let me tell you something these the higher you go up on the motors these motors right here like i said i got this off of amazon right here it was a little bit costly but I, it's worth the money this this motor is decent now they do have hydraulic brakes without um without the whole cable deal that i think the the um the master cylinder is built with the caliber so i guess i'm gonna get those instead that way i can retain my cable and i can retain the uh the kill switch to the motor because this thing is it accelerates uphills no problem and my son right there he got a scooter he wants a electric bike Probably yeah. give him a 20 inch or something. And he's also a motocross rider though. But yeah, let me know what y'all think about this bike. If let me know if y'all want to see some speed runs. And um just hit me up in the comments.